Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang Null and Alternative Hypothesis, also One-Tailed and Two-Tailed Test. Okay, so these are some of the basic concepts in hypothesis testing. Let's start with the difference between Null and Alternative Hypothesis. So Null Hypothesis, denoted by H sub 0, hypothesis that is assumed to be true. So it uses the symbols with equality, like this three, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and equals. Okay, so next one is alternative hypothesis or H sub A. Ito yung kabaligtaran ng null hypothesis. So this is hypothesis that is contrary to the null hypothesis and it uses the symbols without equality. We have less than, greater than, and not equal. Let's have an example. For the null hypothesis, the average life of batteries is equal to 15 hours. In symbols, so let mu be the average life of batteries, then mu is equal to 15. So gumamit tayo rito ng uh, equality symbol. The next one is alternative hypothesis. So kung ito equal to, syempre babalik tayo natin dito, not equal to 15 siya. Okay? So the average life of batteries is not equal to 15 hours. So H sub A in symbols is mu is not equal to 15. Now we have two types of uh, test in hypothesis testing. We have one-tailed versus two-tailed test. So the first one is one-tailed test. It is also called directional. It uses only one tail of the distribution, either left or right tailed. Okay. So for right tailed test, the assertion is made when the parameter falls within the positive or right end of the distribution. So H sub A uses greater than, above, or more than, and those words that is similar to these words. Okay, so greater than, above, more than, at saka yung iba pa na may kaugnayan dito. So kapag right-tailed, so itong part na ito, kaya nga tinawag siya na right, itong part lang na ito yung ire-reject natin na region. Okay, so this part is the rejection region in a right-tailed test. Okay, so nasa right side siya. Next, kapag naman left-tailed test, the assertion is made when the parameter falls within the negative or left end of the distribution. So, H sub A uses less than, below, smaller than, or other words that are uh, the same or similar to these words. Okay? So, dahil uh, left-tailed siya, ang rejection region natin is narito sa part na ito, nasa left side. So, ano naman ang two-tailed test? So, two-tailed test or non-directional makes use of two opposite tails of the distribution. So, no assertion is made if the population parameter falls within positive or negative end of the distribution. So, H sub A uses not equal, not equal to, different, not the same. Okay? So, dahil two-tailed siya, ito yung rejection region natin dito, itong isang part sa left at saka itong part sa right. Okay? So, ang pinaka-pinagkaiba lang talaga ng right-tailed at two-tailed test, dito sa uh, two-tailed test, uh, wala tayong assumption na less than at saka greater than. Okay? So, ang ina lang natin dito is kung may pagkakaiba ba yung tinetest natin na parameter or wala. Okay? So, either equal or not equal to. Let's have examples of null and alternative hypothesis for uh, non-directional and directional types of tests or yung uh, two-tailed at one-tailed test. So, we have the first one which is one-tailed test, right? Null hypothesis, the average life of batteries is less than or equal to 15 hours. So, H sub 0 in symbols, mu is less than or equal to 15. Okay, so kapag alternative hypothesis, dahil one-tailed siya, gagamit tayo ng symbol na greater than. Okay, or words that are associated with greater than. So, the average life of batteries is greater than 15 hours. In symbols H sub A, we have mu is greater than 15. Next, for one-tailed left, uh, null hypothesis, the average life of batteries is greater than or equal to 15 hours. In symbols, H sub 0, mu is greater than or equal to 15. Kapag alternative hypothesis, dahil uh, left siya, ang alternative natin is less than or words that are associated with less than. So, the average life of batteries is less than 15 hours. In symbols, H sub A, mu is less than 15. And then, yung example natin kanina is an example of two-tailed test. So, null hypothesis, the average life of batteries is equal to 15 hours, mu is equal to 15. The alternative hypothesis, the average life of batteries is not equal to 15 hours. So, dito sa total test, again, wala tayong assumption ng less than or greater than. Ang inaalam lang natin dito or ang ina-assume natin dito is the 
uh, kung may difference ba or wala. So, kapag walang difference, um, mu is equal to 15 or the population mean is equal to a certain value and we have the alternative hypothesis, the population mean is not equal to that certain value or mayroon silang pinagkaiba. Next, we have the significance level and rejection region. So, itong dalawang terms na ito ay magkaugnay. Significance level is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis. So, ang rejection region naman is the set of values in which the null hypothesis is rejected. So, meron tayo rito right-tailed, left-tailed, at two-tailed test. Itong part na na-shade ko, yan ito natawag nating rejection region. Okay, so itong part na ito is nasa right side, right tail test, left tail, ito yung rejection region natin. Sa two tail test, itong part na ito na nasa left at nasa right. Okay, so yung probability na mare-reject natin ang uh, null hypothesis is the called the significance level. Okay, so ano namang uh, tawag dito sa part na walang shade. So, ang tawag natin dito is the acceptance region. So, a significance level of 5% means that we are 95% confident with a right decision made. So, bakit 95% lamang, hindi siya 100%? So, sa statistics, wala tayong ina-assume na 100% na tama yung ating decision. So, but of course, uh, kailangan mataas yung ating confidence level of making a right decision. So, ang common na significance level is 5%, uh, 1%, at saka yung mas mababa pa. So, kapag ka 5% ang ating confidence level, ito yung ginagamit kapag ka hindi naman siya nakaka sa buhay or sa uh, life ng isang tao. Okay? For example, magtetest ka lang naman ng uh, effectiveness ng isang uh, instructional material. Okay? So, halimbawa is about the uh, battery life of uh, a gadget. So, pwede na yung 5%. Pero kapag ka magtetest ka ng or magsasagawa ka ng study wherein buhay ng tao ang nakasalalay like developing a medicine, developing a vaccine, kailangan mas mababa yung ating uh, significance level doon or mas mataas ang confidence level. Okay? Next, let's have an example. A teacher wants to test if college students take less than 5 years to graduate from college on the average. State the null and alternative hypothesis. Kung mapapansin nyo sa ating statement, meron tayo rito ang uh, less than 5 years. Kapag narinig nyo na agad yung may less than, greater than, iyon ay one-tailed test. So, dahil less than ito, this uh, states the alternative hypothesis. Okay? So, alternative hypothesis, college students take less than 5 years to graduate from college. Okay? The alternative hypothesis in symbols H sub A, mu is less than 5. Okay? So, or mu is less than 5 years. Okay? The average residency of a college student. Okay? So, ito yung mu. Next, ano naman yung null hypothesis? So, dahil less than ito, syempre, ang kabaligtaran niya is yung greater than or equal to. Bakit may equal to? Dahil uh, ito ay null hypothesis. Okay? So, dito kasi sa ating uh, situation, nauna rito yung alternative. Okay? So, college students take at least 5 years to graduate from college. In symbols, H sub 0, mu is greater than or equal to 15. So, again, this is a left-tailed test. Dahil ang alternative natin is may less than. Next, example number 2. We want to test if the average height of 9th graders is 70 inches. State the null and alternative hypothesis. So, based on the given, may clue word na agad tayo rito wherein uh, the average height of 9th graders is 70 inches. So, that means either equal to 70 inches or not equal to 70 inches. So, this means uh, it is a two-tailed test. Okay? So, for the null hypothesis, the average height of 9th graders is 70 inches or in symbols, mu is equal to 70. Wherein, mu stands for the average height. Okay? So, for alternative hypothesis, dahil ito ay equal to, ang ating alternative is not equal to. So, the average height of 9th graders is not equal to 70 inches, mu is not equal to 70. So, wala tayong assumption kung mas mababa siya ba sa 70 or mas mataas siya sa 70. Ang uh, tinatry lang natin dito na alamin is kung uh, equal ba siya sa 70 or not equal to 70. So, that is for two-tailed test. 
Next example number three, a fitness instructor wants to test if the weights of her students are reduced after an exercise program. Before the exercise program, the average weight of her students was 150 pounds. State the null and alternative hypothesis. So based on the given, ang clue word natin dito is uh, the weight of her students are reduced. Okay, so kapag sinabi natin reduce, this is associated with less than. So ito yung ating alternative hypothesis. Uh, the average weight of the students after the exercise program is less than 150. So this means this is a left-tailed test. Okay, so in symbols, mu is less than 150. So si, uh, dahil ang ating alternative ay less than, syempre ang ating null hypothesis is greater than or equal to. So the average weight of the... Uh, students after the exercise program is at least 150 pounds or in symbols mu is greater than or equal to 150. So, basta pagbabasa nyo lang diyan is yung ating ginagamit na symbols. Kung, al kung ang alternative ay less than, dapat ang ating null hypothesis ay greater than or equal to. Example number 4. On a provincial driver's test, about 60% pass the test on the first try. We want to test if more than 60% of the newly enrolled students pass on the first try. State the null and alternative hypothesis. So based on the given, we have here the clue word which is more than 60%. So, dahil more than iyan, that is our alternative hypothesis, yan ang symbol na gagamitin natin, which is more than 60% of the newly enrolled students pass on the first try. So, H of A, we have P is greater than 0.6. So, bakit P? Yung P natin is the population proportion. Since ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is the population proportion. Okay? So, this is a uh, right-tailed test dahil ang ginamit nating symbol for alternative hypothesis is greater than. So, dahil ito'y greater than, ang null hypothesis natin dito is less than or equal to. So, at most, 60% of the newly enrolled students pass on the first try. So, H sub 0 is P is less than or equal to 0 0.6. Next, for the last example, a researcher wants to test if there is a significant difference on the level of performance of the same sets of students before and after exposure to an instructional material. State the null and alternative hypothesis. So, based on the given, we have here the clue word, there is a significant difference. So, kapag sinabi natin, there is a significant difference, ang symbol na associated dito is not equal to, or they are, they are not the same. So, this means it is a two-tailed test. Okay, so for the alternative hypothesis, there is a significant difference on the level of performance of the same sets of students before and after exposure to an instructional material. In symbols, mu sub 1 is not equal to mu sub 2. So bakit tayo nagkaroon dito ng mu sub 1 at mu sub 2? Dahil ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is dalawang sets of students. So dalawang sample means ang ating itetest dito. Kaya meron mu sub 1 is not equal to mu sub 2. Okay, so for the null hypothesis, dahil not equal ito, syempre equal to ang gagamitin natin dito. There is no significant difference. Kasi pag sinabi natin there is no significant difference, equal ang kanilang means. Okay, so again, there is no significant difference on the level of performance of the same sets of students before and after exposure to an instructional material. So in symbols H sub 0, we have mu sub 1 is equal to mu sub so that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.